I'm in the back of a car, which very rarely happens. Can mean only one thing. Road trip, look who's here. Hi everyone. This guy. Hi YouTube. And this guy. I'm driving. Three days in Manchester. What a dream. <laughs> Till we hit the Manchester region. Fun fact Steve Bouget, Andy and Sterling, hi there, both used to live in Manchester. So they're like the Sherpas for this trip. Did it. We've arrived. University of Manchester. True fact. Yeah, boy. The first of three gigs at the university halls where Stephen Bouget used to attend. Still here. Well driven, mate. Well driven. It's the high place with the whip to piss to whip you. If you lift the finger, trying to tame the outlaws in a killer. In a sunburned vista, blisters, red roar and torch, nothing's up. It's crack dash and cigarette buds roar. Mix mutts, dirty as hustler under. This is a proper student union. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear my feet making that noise when you walk. Textbook. Half cast, no mean terror, but half mask. Which is the rap scene, the skin like knife, the laugh's dark, letting up skin tight guys and fast cars. Classic bit of chair work there from Bouge. As has been covered in depth in this vlog in the past, very rarely will there be a room where the chairs don't need to get moved around a little bit. And here he is doing an absolutely stellar job of that while I stand by and watch, narrating in what some might describe as a sarcastic fashion. Be the eyes reflect the guise of death with NBA engraved in his chest and the various porn arts we talk, pray son, like a He's handsome, he's had sex with up to three women. He's a beauty anything we are in rural is it, Ma is it manchester where are we cheshire. we're in cheshire if you can imagine such a place hey babes <laughs> hey youtube <laughs> it's my mum's house <laughs> oh, it's the morning now look just two grown men sh sharing <laughs> Sharing a room with two single beds. Like Bear and Ernie. This is why you get into comedy, guys. Work hard. All of this time, running them lights. We need to put it in, put it in reverse. We took it too far, wrecked this car. We need to put it in, put it in reverse. Night two, well, we've hit the road. Where are we headed, Steve? Back to Manchester. Back to Manchester for the second of three gigs. Ian, anything to add? Yes. Cheers. No, uh, that's not a very good sign. Like clockwork, arrive at the gig. Move the chairs nearer to the stage. We can't get the speakers to turn on. We don't know what any of these buttons do. It's buzzing at this gig, sadly, is the speakers. Ooh. That's not good, that <laughs> The gig is meant to be starting maybe in the next sort of 10 minutes or so, and we are still in something of a clinch. 
re the sound. In all honesty, we're in a bit of a clinch re the audience as well. So the sound problems are sort of foremost. The audience problems are secondary. Hopefully, they can both be addressed in the next ten minutes before the show's about to start. Slowly drifting apart. Who can we blame now? When the going gets So the sound is. Uh, so we're going to attempt to do a gig with no microphone. That is something I am not a fan of doing at all. But yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Did it with no mic. Um, it, was, it was interesting. It was definitely an interesting exercise and in panic <laughs> and improvisation. Um, I, I think it was pretty fun. I think I got away with it. Currently, Steve is doing the same. And Ian is about to. How are you feeling about it? Good, it's a fun gig. Simon, Simon he's always so self effaced on these, do you know what? Simon had a very good gig with some very funny material and he's a very. He's a very competent stand-up comedian. <laughs> competent. Yeah. Put that on the poster. Cheers, yeah. mate. TV's Ian Sterling there in a classic post-gig photo situation. Okay. Film that. You're a wanker. <laughs> Cruising down the highway, making my mind up. Quick gig post-mortem. <laughs> I mean, we did. It happened. It was good, man. Against, it was really nice. Against all odds. But like, it was lovely. It had the potential to be a horror show. That was the nicest it, non-amplified gig. Yeah. <laughs> but it was actually okay in the end, wasn't it? Was okay, it? it was great. It gave it a more informal feel. It was very informal, wasn't it? I, yeah, I'm a bit. Also. I feel a bit croaky from shouting too yeah, much, yeah. but it was fun in a in a way and challenging. The annoying thing was though, if any of them spoke at all, it yeah. completely undermined our authority. Yeah, just meant there were two people talking. Because they the had room. the exact same volume. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've done it. It's, that's two out of three sorted. Oh. Day three, and what? Adventures await. Starting to really get bored of each other now. Yeah. Better have another pub lunch, mate. Another lovely day in uh, Cheshire. It's it's rain. It's raining it's a lot. Really, raining, really a lot. raining a lot, isn't it? Still raining. Right, we have. Them. Escaped the uh, confines of, I want to say Frodsham. Come to Chester, historic Chester. Unfortunately, it is half term. So it is absolutely dense with children, which is not a problem for me, but when you're with the celebrity kids TV presenter in Sterling. Oh, wait, what happened? I've got a dog at my homework. Okay. <laughs> and the, could, this could be a nightmare. It won't be a nightmare. He's absolutely unrecognisable <laughs> in his current homeless guise. <laughs> He's taking his hat off to show you recognise. <laughs> the classic uh, Chester clock there. Steve, what can you tell us about the I don't know, clock? Mate. I can tell you you've been banging on about it for a week. And you've got nothing. I don't know, mate. You're from this area. Very famous clock. I love bad bitches, that's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. Night three, Manchester University. It's still £1.90 for Pigs and Fosters, mate. Well, you know, every cloud has a Fosters lining. Random audience members. Hi everyone. 
Yeah, turn, yeah. Just turn the lights oh, right. on. It's sort of rude, isn't it? That's the harsh reality. And now it's returned to just being a dining hall. <laughs> that is from comedy club to dining hall, like that. That's the career. That's how quickly it can happen. Epilogue. Final day. We've done it. Three gigs in three nights. We're all still on speaking terms, even though there's no one else speaking currently. It's been a good run, hasn't it? Fuck off, mate. <laughs> Lovely stuff there from Bouge. Final words from Sterling? I like... Wonderful stuff. And that's <laughs> how you get a job in telly.